is important to emphasize that the problem we are discussing becomes even more complex and dangerous to address because they are being perpetrated mostly by non-state actors or their agents. When governments or their agencies are known to be perpetrators of such crimes and conspiracies, horrible as the problem may be, it is easier to point fingers and wage focused campaigns. This is one very important reason why we need to address problems of press freedom in this context from many perspectives or directions. The threats of death to the lives of journalists is a totally new development that requires urgent concern by government and all democracy-loving Ghanaians. In this context, we must appeal directly to President Nana, directly to President Nana Adudankwa Ekufuadu personally to find occasion to address the issues publicly. Government and the political parties must publicly condemn these threats and censure their individual comrades whose utterances and actions tend to support violence against media and journalists. There is no dispute that nearly every day, many media houses produce erroneous, sometimes even unacceptably disturbing content. But in a democracy, no media misdemeanor calculated or otherwise, warrants any reaction intended to maim or murder a journalist. That is why the laws of the land provides remedies, provide remedies for anyone aggrieved of media misconduct. However, among many citizens and important leaders of institutions, there seems to be little regard in applying constitutional means of redressing problems with media. Instead of using the right to rejoinder, many personalities in influential positions would rather tend to resort to arbitrary and often violent means of dealing with media over media content they consider unacceptable or disagreeable. As for the police as an institution, the Media Foundation for West Africa and other organizations such as the Ghana Independent Broadcasters Association, the Ghana Journalists Association, the Private Newspaper Publishers Association of Ghana, the Editors Forum, and others have been working for some months now in developing mechanisms of promoting improved relations between media and the police and for promoting the safety of journalists. We believe the police leadership are committed to the project and we hope the process will yield the expected results.